As we go into said. game one here, this bookworm versus Wowls. Merchant Port is going to be the stage pick. We're already seeing a big juggle coming out from Bookworm. Yeah, but doesn't capitalize on it, but if she's able to just keep forcing Wowls off stage exactly like that, the percentages just that rack up so fast, and that's just done. That's done. Yeah, when you're playing a character as light as Raster, things like that can just kill you right out of the blue. We're already seeing a big lead coming out from Bookworm. Yep. Wow, doing a good job of answering back. A bit mistiming on that down B. I think was expecting Bookworm to jump up into that space a bit earlier. Ready, another big F strong. Ooh, great job. I love that. Goes out to beta jump and then Joe's right back to stage. Saying like, nah, you can, you waste that resource. I'm just gonna right, re edge guard you. It's not. And this is already looking super dominant. Getting that up B, but not gonna be enough to kill. Oh. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yep. Vowels gets himself on the board. The bookworm still maintaining this neutral control very well with both the steam and the missiles. We got the mine on Vowels right now. Bookworm's control of getting that mine on in very minute situations is so impressive. And I think like you were mentioning before, one of the signs of a good Eliana, that is definitely it. Knowing how to place the mine down in a combo situation mm -hmm. to be able to extend it as far yeah. as possible. It's a lot of, like, learning Ellie, you're just like, oh, I can combo here. I can get this figured out. The other thing is like, well, the combo's done, but I got a mine on and now it can extend or now they're in a very bad spot. Exactly. As we're seeing it right there, shooting out the missile mm -hmm. to explode that mine on the ground, predicting exactly where Wowls wanted to go to enter. Oh, 100 percent, absolutely, absolutely. Bookworm looks very comfortable there. This yeah. this seems Bookworm wants the second shot against Sego. Yeah, I mean, once again, we're talking about it. Bookworm. Sparks and Sega, the three players here who are all top 20 players yeah. in the world, and Bookworm showing why she is. Yep. Not only that, but they all play each other a lot. They do, yeah. yeah. Not just in brackets, oh but also God. lots of friendlies. That was just gross. Okay. Yes, I feel like sometimes that can just happen when you're yeah. all the way out there with Raster. You can just die from some ridiculous. Yeah, hit. it's like that, that wasn't actually a kill move, but okay. You're just dead now. But Wowl's not letting it chase him, getting a combo right here. And that was so sword. good! So smart, being. Wowl's have been trying to get that down air, the in, or the down strong, the entire last set, and finally hits it against Bookworm. Great parry on the missile, too, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to take back this neutral control. Already racking up the damage super high on Bookworm. Okay. I like that. Goes out with the Nair to threaten, like, you can't drift back in, and that's going to make your recovery much more difficult. Clap, we get off the top. This is Wowl's first lead in this set. Yeah, he's not gonna take that game one sitting down. It was yeah. looking very dominant for Bookworm, but now Wowl's answering back super, super well. For so many people would have been shook by, by having a game one like that. And this is very impressive to bring it back. Yeah, I think that definitely shows the mental fortitude of mm -hmm. Wowl to be able to bring it back, but Bookworm also still 38% not enough. Let's see here. Ooh, okay, overheat? gets it started. Where are we going? No, no, gets... that's happened a couple times. Bookworm loves it if you overextend. Oh, no. That is it. That's no, that doesn't what? kill yet. Still out How there. did that not kill? I have no idea, but Wowl's just hanging on by the skin of his teeth right now. Wowl should not be alive right now. <laughs> oh, that might do it. Not no, quite getting doesn't that hit it. Down. Doesn't hit it. Now a little bit more difficult. You can't just hit it through the combo. You got to get a raw kill confirmed. Wow, well, is playing so carefully right now with these missiles. Oh, okay. Ooh. Does up to the flat lands, gets the resources back. Oh, here we go. Clap. No, not yet. Yeah, I think he was hoping to get something off that side B, but right now just playing it very carefully. Almost got it there again. One more. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, the oh no, that missile. kills. Yeah. Bookworm snatches that. Yeah, just reading that on that recovery, Wowls wanted to go mm -hmm. above the ledge there. Being able to charge that huge missile, there's no way to avoid that once you're kind of stuck in that air dodge lag at that uh, higher end of the ledge. All right, runs it right back to Triple Pond. I thought we were maybe doing a bit of a button check with it. Nope, I think they're, I think they're going at yeah, it. It looks like they're going into it. Wowls already starting off 49% on Bookworm. Very... 
very faster, but from what we saw the last game, it might not matter. Oh my gosh. Because here's the problem is that Wobbles is getting those really long combos, but Bookworm keeps getting like, oh, you overextended once? I took 70%, but you're just going to die for it. Ooh. And yeah, I think that's kind of the big thing with Eliana in any matchup, where because of her extra weight, she's able to survive for yeah. a lot longer compared to some other characters. And she has a super devastating punish game to be able to make up those deficits. We think of her as, you know, the ranged character. We think of her as the zoner, but she's also a heavy. She's just a heavy that sometimes doesn't have a mech. <laughs> there we go. First stock. Last game that did not matter. Let's see if Bookworm's able to answer. Bookworm looks like they're answering very fast, actually. Yeah, got That's that going to kill. Yeah. Not a whole lot of spaces for Rasser yeah. to go there when he's starting that tornado right by the ledge. That's going to be an easy confirm, but... Oh! No. That's not even that much damage. Only at 48, 51. That was so good. That platform movement was oh nuts. Bookworm, you are crazy. <laughs> that was that was some custom alley stuff going on. Yeah, Bookworm just going. So Does it again? Crazy right now, while we're still able to survive. Yeah, a little bit closer to the to the the stage than Bookworm realized. Just, oh my god. Every time I feel like Bookworm goes off stage now, it's like I feel like Wallace is gonna die. <laughs> I mean, that's the goal. That's exactly what Bookworm wants you to think. You do, you Bookworm. She does not want you to feel comfortable in that situation. Yeah, no kidding. And she's doing a great job of putting that pressure on Wowles. Last stock, 79%. Those percents are climbing. And when you're playing a character as light as Raster, just one more hit can do it. Yep, especially if you're already off stage. You don't even need a strong move. You can just get knocked one time. Oh. Sends it the wrong way. I don't oh think it would have hit anyways, though. Great tech. Wowles is fighting for his life right now. Oh, the missile. Not going to do it yet. Oh my god, the defense! It's just been so overwhelming when Bookworm no! is throwing at Wowles. Wowles, the thing is, Wowles still has to take another stock, even if they get this. Yeah, this is 170. Really rough right now. And this is the difficult part oh. for Raster, too, yeah. Just not able to find that kill at those higher percents, and Eliana yeah. just able to come in with those huge yep. explosions. Especially if you don't feel as comfortable in a matchup. There's not a lot of L. Okay. I say this as we're in Wisconsin, and we have Wisconsin and Illinois. There's a lot of bellies here. There's not 